And we're back. Drink water, Drink podcast. Drink water, We've got a lot of water We've here. We've got a lot of water here. A lot of water. We've been having this. What is this? That kind of got me messed up. Yeah, no, it did. strong. <laughs> it's, it's my new thing. It's the Thai... Thai herbs. Mm. It'll, it'll start your day. It'll honestly start your day. It's nice. It's, it's a great... like a nice cold beer. <laughs> start your day. It, honestly, instead of having coffee, just have a little bit of this. Yeah. Who needs honestly. coffee? You don't need coffee. You don't. That's gonna need... put every coffee shop out of business forever. It may be. <laughs> People haven't jumped on this yet. Yeah. I want to probably get behind. Do you it. reckon coffee will be around forever? <sighs> How long has it even been around? Do you know what? It's slowly. Um, I don't know if you've noticed with all the um, with all the entrepreneurs, but they're really big on sleep now. Yeah, but you can sleep on coffee. The it's idea huge is in, like European. Co- you can Countries sleep. You have it. a coffee before you go to sleep. You can sleep on it, but it's not good for you. You're not getting into a REM sleep. You're not getting your proper... It's bad. Because the whole idea of these um, entrepreneurs but, uh, is... Another whole idea is being focused and working all day and having a cold brew. I Laptop, think that's cold going. brew, gym. I think, I think that's going. I feel like it's going up. I think people are getting... We'll have to fight over it, obviously. No, we'll, we'll have a debate. <laughs> this is what we're here. It's for Rumble, so we haven't got really um, problematic... Not problematic. We haven't... We've got, got Kanye West, West coming We have Kanye West coming. Out. <laughs> there he is. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on in, man. We'll listen to you. We'll listen to what you have to say. Which Let is true. We'll listen to what he has to say. Uh, but yeah, people have changed. I think people, or the average entrepreneur is like, get 11 hours of sleep. That's kind of the main thing. True. Be well rested. Who told you this? Where have you read? I just keep seeing Personal trends. research. Personal research. That's all you need. That's literally all you need. <laughs> Personal experience. It's a new wave of science. <laughs> You have big no people. more statistics, no more data. It's personal experience based science. I like it. Big people <laughs> like Joe Rogan, The Rock. I don't know smaller YouTubers like Hamza. Um, <laughs> personal, uh, what is, is he it? That blue pill guy? Uh, no, Hamza's. I think close to being red pill. He's that Indian That's guy. A joke. It's a joke. Oh right, right. No, <laughs> I didn't. We're missing it. I'm why missing, is missing it jokes. a pill and why is it red? I was it's... thinking about this today. The Matrix. Yeah, what's up with the red pill? And why is it a pill? It almost seems like red it's and blue. blue drug. Yeah, and what's red, blue? Blue is libtard. Red is that's the true. Right. Yeah, it's like the <laughs> they predict bit it. of a little mix. <laughs> that's funny. That's you just hilarious. rewatch. You rewatch the Matrix. There's some guy in like a red hat. <laughs> <laughs> Put it like conservative points out there. This is like a TV show in the Matrix. There's some guy with a red hat doing this. <laughs> But um, yeah, people love sleep now, and the biggest part of sleep. People used to not love sleep. Is that a thing? people used to be on grind culture? Ah, uh, no sleep. Sleep no when you're sleep. dead. Sleep when Literally. you're dead. Sleep when you're dead. I like that. Stuff. I you only have twenty four hours in the day. I'm gonna spend twenty hours of it grinding. I'll sleep sleep for four hours. I know that Leonardo da Vinci would sleep for supposedly three. He would sleep every three hours for twenty minutes. Yes, for like twenty years. Yes, I've heard about that. And so many YouTubers yeah. do that challenge. Kills them. Mm. It absolutely yeah, yeah, kills I've seen them. YouTubers. He also was Dharma-esque. He would be into chopping up bodies. Was he? Old Da Vinci, yeah. He's a bit of a body chopper. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? I think scientifically, that's why all these like drawings and paintings are like so scientifically accurate because he would cut up bodies to see exactly like all the muscles and gosh what was going on in there so he was a bit of a sociopath a bit of, yeah when you hear about the da vinci stuff i think it's very the only way to achieve the things he did is to be a sociopath have to be yeah it's almost like a necessity to be achieve a certain level of success mm. you have to be a sociopath Definitely. They say that in like entertainment, anyone who's like a big figure, you have to be a sociopath to wake up in the morning and be like thinking about yourself straight away. And they're thinking about yourself. Are there the people that are waking up not thinking about themselves? Hundred percent. What are they thinking? The of? majority. They're like the majority. How, the majority of people aren't thinking about themselves. What are they thinking about? They're thinking about how how the hell am I gonna get these bills paid? How right. the hell am I going to but isn't that the self that's thinking about yourself? That's how am I going to get my bills paid? After my family. Family. Yeah, yeah still I don't, I don't mean family. Them. Still family. There's other people I'm responsible. Um, I guess there's an element of um, definitely. There's an element of I thinking about like yourself. Everyone's kind of thinking. I don't know many people that are waking up and thinking about. Oh, I'm gonna go. I see that. I've got to go feed a homeless guy today. Not I'm even just a homeless. Craving. I just know that there's someone out there struggling. No, and I want to go help them. There's two kids. There's two. But kids in your the kids. Room. You. There's no, there's no, I, like, that's my opinion. When you have a child, it's you. You're like, still selfish. Yeah. 
I don't it's think your, so. It's your child, your legacy. You're thinking about yourself. It's selfish to be a good father. In a good way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? Ah, or would it be more selfish to be like... A bad eh, father. Yeah, I'm going to think yourself. about myself. Would, I think that would be more selfish because technically, by definition, <laughs> you're not. I think that would be. I'm going to argue. It's good. Like argument. No, I like the argument. I would argue selfish. that that's less selfish. Less and selfish. that is just stupidity. Okay, so it's stupid to not be there for your kids for your because kids. they will be here after you're gone with your name and your blood. Interesting. Interesting. They're you. Interesting. There's not much difference. Yeah. Depends if you believe in a soul or not. And we can get into that. I kind of do want to get into it. Unpack the soul. Yeah, this sounds a little bit more YouTube-y in the center. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to Elon or Twitter? <laughs> or we could or we could keep it nice and light and make just this YouTube. And then we get into <laughs> some other stuff later. Because, yeah, maybe we could do the water yeah. challenge. The water ch- Oh, dang. I want to be, I want to be very... Um, I want to let this toothpaste go down before I get into the water challenge. Well, how long is that going to be? That's probably going to take 30 minutes. 30? 30 well, Maybe minutes. it's going to be a long YouTube video. Though. It may be a long YouTube video. I don't know. We could go both ways. Yeah. Uh, well, no, maybe upload the same on both. What do you mean? Oh, that's very true. That's very true, actually. Okay. See if one gets cancelled. No, we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how we see go. See if the mob come after us. <laughs> All our fans. <laughs> What I think, what I think we'll do, I think we'll just keep this one YouTube in. For everyone, we do have another video that may come out somewhere that isn't um, <clears throat> as clean as this. But yeah, no, I think we'll just keep rolling with it for another thirty. Yeah, and yeah, because I think it's true. I think it's really important. The idea of selfishness, the idea of legacy, the idea of like being a sociopath to achieve in life. I think you need to be selfish. <clears throat> You need to be selfish to survive. Or to achieve success. Yeah, definitely. Right. I do think there's... <laughs> I do think there's the idea of selflessness. Um, what do you mean by that? Where it's like you're doing things for others. Yeah. You're not having any benefit for this. I think to an extent, to an extent, that's what happens when you have a family. Because I see like even having a girlfriend yeah. as an extension of yourself. Right. Like, if she's wearing something fresh or jewellery or anything, it's kind of like I'm wearing it. Because we're together. It's a Kanye West take. Uh, Yeah, I get it. I don't know. (laughs) Be like, look at how how Kim Kardashian dressed before she met me and after she met me. I don't even mean talking about that I've influenced. I'm just saying when you have family or someone that you... They're kind of part of you. They're an extension of yourself. Yeah, interesting. In a way. Well, I feel that. Like, I find it... If my girlfriend's dressing fresh, I feel like I'm I'm fresh. Like I'm next to her, true, looking fresh. True, true. It's kind that of a sense. one. You become one in a way. I guess when you have these like multi billionaires yeah. who all have like a supermodel wife, mm. there's the idea that he must be a supermodel. <laughs> yeah. In a weird way, in a, in a weird, weird way, way, he's kind of a supermodel. Yeah. Because oh, that's his wife. Oh my gosh. He he's suddenly kind of been bumped up. Yeah. Like he must have something. This guy's now m- way more attractive. Mm. compared to um, if his wife wasn't a supermodel. Yeah. It was just kind of average. Maybe his same age. Let's say he's 80 years old and his wife's also 80. It's like, oh, what a sweet couple. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. But his wife's 20. 25. He looks 25. He kind of... <laughs> uh, he gets bumped down a little bit. Yeah. He gets bumped down a little bit. <laughs> it looks silly, but I think there's a part of everyone being like, okay, he must have something. He must yeah. be rich. He must be kind of cool, yeah. I think. But yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that went off. I don't even tangent. I don't, I don't think that relate. <laughs> I think you've had a bit too much of that. <laughs> I think I've had a little bit too much <laughs> of that. You know what's in that. <laughs> I don't know what's in this. It could be something very dangerous. Yeah. Because it says... Please um, have one every few weeks. Yeah. One if. <laughs> Do not directly inhale. <laughs> We're from... <laughs> What does it say? Use inhaled. Once the symptoms of vertigo, because it, it's the English in on it's pretty terrible. Um, yeah, dr- it's a drug register. No one wants to. No they don't want to go into. No this. one cares about that. Anyway, what else is new in the world? The chasers. What's going They're on? popping off. Are they doing videos at Scientology? Let's take it back to two thousand seven. Wait, what? Are they doing stuff now? No, I'm joking. Ah, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> but I was just watching some of their stuff last night, and it's yeah. incredible. I was they literally... kind of revolutionized content creation, pranks, yeah. everything. Yeah, 
I was scary. I was talking to a friend, Jackson, if he's, he's, he'll, be, he'll be listening to this, um, we were just talking about, he hadn't really watched much of The Chasers. Yeah. And I was saying, they did the best pranks of all time. Yeah. They really committed to the bit. Their, their commitment, the idea, the creativity, what they were able to get away with. The risks. Risk. Going yeah. to, like, the, the one of the funniest ones is put in the mosque in Mossman. Oh. And they have, like... <laughs> I haven't seen... I, oh, I haven't rewatched that one. incredible. I really need to watch that one. <laughs> Just seeing the people's reactions. <laughs> and it looks like a beautiful mosque. I reckon it looks fresh in Mossman. How did they do it? What was the... They just have, like, a little... You know, the little centre for ants... Oh, a little like, center for oh ants my mosque gosh. set up, and they're like, "Do you want to come sign the petition to bring the mosque to Mossman?" And they're like, "No, I don't know about that. Not around here. It's Maybe crazy. out west." That's crazy. That's crazy because they must have um, Sasha Baron Cohen's people must have stolen that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even put two two together there. More than likely. That's, what did he do? He cool. did. He went to a small country town and said, "We're going to build oh, a, mosque. a mosque." Yeah, yeah. we're going to build a mosque. Wow. I think we're catching him out here on I YouTube. I think we have caught out. He's Sasha, a, where's your money? Thief. Receipts. He's a joke thief. Which is... Who? He's a oh, the joke thief. Joke thief. Yeah. yeah. I know the, the comedian who wrote that bit was, I'm pretty sure, Kurt Metzger, New York comedian. Who wrote his bit who wrote for that, the mosque. that mosque idea. Wow. Yeah. So he must have potentially stolen Stumbled that from... upon the chase yeah. video. Yeah. And be like, let's do something. Unless it's similar thinking. It is a good idea. Like, it's funny, even just having the same idea, um, there's a, there's a comedian, Ari Shafir, who has a joke that's one of mine, and it was, <laughs> <laughs> everyone, um, he, he stole my joke. We'll call him out, at I Ari will, Shafir I will, on I will, I know, Ari Shafir, I, his joke was, um... He would have been in Sydney, at a comedy club. Yeah, a, t- a tiny open 20 mic. person comedy club, yeah, he stumbled in, and he saw he's me, he's like, that's gold, and he's like, I'm taking off to New York, <laughs> I'm taking that bit. Yeah. The bit was um, Jesus, what is it, turning water into wine. And then he was saying, oh, yeah, what wine? And then someone was like, you were the first person who ever asked that. And he's like, oh, was it Moscato? Was it a Merlot? Oh. And that's my joke, by the way. Really? That's my exact exact joke. It's like, what kind of wine was it? Was it maybe a Shiraz? Was, was it sparkling? A, yeah, it could have been a sparkling. I wine. love a good sparkling. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's my favourite drink. Talking about, I used to be in the wine industry. I used to be able to ring them off. It's like a Pinot Grigio. Was it? It, it could have been a nice Pinot Grigio. I assume it was like a red wine. A, a Shiraz. Shiraz. You think he did a Shiraz? <laughs> into this but yeah, I know. That's kind of how my joke goes. Yeah. But he, he stole my idea. Well, but he there owes you some money. He, I don't he know owes how me, much. He owes me a little bit of money. You can pay us in joke. Bitcoin as yeah. well. Pay us in Bitcoin. He could pay us just in shouting out the podcast, that's all. Yeah, a little shout out. Um, but yeah, the idea of thinking on the same page as someone else, I think it was just that same sort of idea. Yeah. Because the Chase's skits were one of my favourite ones where um, can you get into a nightclub? You can get into any nightclub no matter what you're wearing as long as you have girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he, like, comes in his pyjamas, and he has a bunch of girls, and then he comes in a Speedo and a bunch of girls. (laughs) Then he comes in a full clown outfit. (laughs) Full, full clown outfit in King's Cross. uh, Three girls on each arm, and he (laughs) is... And it's just, it's just, like... I want them to come back. (laughs) It's not a good time, though, because everything's so, like... Um, we're not liberal here, are we? What's the left wing... Oh, it's, it's a little bit... You just can't do certain things. No, I just feel like... That was like the John Howard era. That was the And John everyone Howard. hated John Howard. Yes. It was, he was very right-wing. Yes. Conservative. It was the perfect time for him to push back. perfect time. Yeah. He, loved everyone white, was he was like bringing back white Australia policy vibes. Yes. Yeah, completely. Bringing back that vibe very strongly. Yeah, and, and the it was average... perfect to push back. Average young person... Like right now we got was, Albo. There's not much you can really do. He's just what are you going to do? Guy. Yeah. yeah what's he's he doing, doing a wrong? good job. He's doing, <laughs> he's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> and what happens? For because once. because he's not dangerous, um, he's the good guy. Yeah. So young kids have to be like really conservative to kind of push against push back. the system. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, I want to kind of go against the system. Um, in whatever way possible. Mm. It, was, it was great to go against John Howard. It was like, oh yeah, white Australia policy, blah, 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 blah. And because... Everything was so extreme. There were the actual... kids are trying to bring back the white Australia policy now. Is that what you're Oh saying? no, no! I, I was just going to say that the doing the clan thing in King's Cross is a joke. 
wouldn't cause any problems. No. Because right. there's literal, like, racism going on in, in Parliament. Yeah. So it you wouldn't even look at the chasers. You would understand that it's a joke. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, if the chasers did that skit, they'd be like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> These guys must be actual Nazis. Yeah, yeah. They must be actual clan members because they're doing that. There's nothing to make fun of. There's nothing to make fun of. Because there's not actual problems going on in Parliament yeah. relating to that issue. So therefore, we're going to kind of try to find... I'd love to get uh, Chase on. What was his name? The Chaz. 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 Yeah, that'd be great. He'd be a great Yeah, one of those guys would be incredible. He'd be great. Try to line that up. Yeah, try to send out some texts. Yeah, send out some texts. Some water. See what happens. Yeah, come on the Drink Water podcast, Chaz. We're in Sydney, the city, CBD. Don't need to travel. Have a bottle of water. We'll have one. Have a bottle of water. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a water taste test coming up soon. That's gonna be very which we're looking forward to. Very entertaining for this. But I'd love I'd love to have Chaz on the podcast. Such a recognizable voice yeah hilarious it's like that raspy he did the um all the american content as well dressing up as a summer oh. the opec summit apex summit yes. in 2008 yes. yeah that was so what they did he dressed up as osama bin laden yeah it was still in that hot era after 9 11 a yeah. lot of anti yeah there was Islamic actually rhetoric. yeah it was very touchy rhetoric time. going on everywhere yeah. dresses up as osama it's supposed to be the most safest summit all the world leaders are here in sydney yeah. australia george bush george bush right everyone down there yeah, every right world the leader yeah he could have ended the world in one attack here yes he yeah. dresses up gets in a limousine with the canadian flag yeah yeah gets through the first checkpoint a whole bunch of security around him security walking, walking, walking in. The they've car. got it all fake yeah. Second checkpoint through. Yes. Third checkpoint through. They're just giving them fake numbers and names. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they got bored and he just gets out and starts walking around. Yeah, he starts walking. Because <laughs> they're there. like, this is getting dangerous now. We're in to the summit. I yeah, yeah, yeah. What, to do. what do we actually do? <laughs> what do we do? Are we going to go up to George Bush and shake his hand to be like, hey, how are you going? <laughs> and it's, it's crazy. They it's get in, he good. walks, and it's not like he's shot. Yeah. It's not like he's tackled to the ground. They arrest um, the guy with the glasses and then he's just kind of like walking off, which is <laughs> surely shows what a bloke with an Aussie accent and a bit of, bit of slap, a bit of rhetoric can just get you in anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. Or is it just pure creativity? I think it's just that. Oh, this guy seems who's like an all right bloke. If there was a guy like Hello, I am from. Oh, that's true. Canada. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, with can I could be like, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe, yeah, hey man, I'm just I've got the Canadian guy. Can we that's just, true. We've left the past back at the that's bloody hotel. True. You know how it is, mate. The traffic. We're yeah. late. We're late for the summit. Oh, it's like come through. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the same idea. I think it's his personality. Yeah. Like if you are wanting to like confidence. Yeah, if you are like a serial killer or if you are <laughs> wanting to do like horrific events, if you're really charming, you're going to get away, get with, away a with a lot more. Get away a lot more. Yeah. That's if you're usually... awkward and... Yeah, it's the whole you can't thing. do much, you've got to go do the school shooting. You're yeah, not going to be able to do much. Of course, and people are going to kind of pick pick you out and be like, oh, we kind of have to watch this guy. Yeah, he looks sus. Yeah. <laughs> this dude doesn't talk to anyone. Yeah. Stares at the ground all day. Yeah. Let's get him. Has it ever happened where the school shooter has been like the Charming. most popular kid in school? No. What about that? It just flips. It's like he was the most, he was literally the captain of the football team. No, he, yeah. he had like the cheerleader girlfriend. Everyone loved him. I don't know why he killed everyone. <laughs> We've never seen that story. That hasn't happened. I guess the Vegas one was not that, but a bit strange. He yes. was a multi millionaire, yeah. lived in a beautiful home, lovely, or who knows what his life was like, but multi millionaire. Yeah. Seemed well adjusted. Seemed well. Charming. Very charming. He was talking to talking like staff. all the staff. Yeah, Stephen Paddock. That's yeah. Yeah, I, I watch. I watch that so many times. Doesn't really make sense. Because they've got it on YouTube. They've got the whole week of his life. Yeah, and yeah. There's something so I've fascinating that. about that. It's very strange. Yeah, I watch it whenever it comes up. Like I just kind of fast forward through it because it's just such a fascinating idea that this guy is about to. There's no one of purpose you can find. There's no depressed, weird, incel, terrorist, racist, homophobic, anything. Yeah. There's nothing. It's yeah. just this normal rich guy who just killed 80 people. He was gambling a lot. Gambling? Gambling a lot. Yeah. Well, he was about to kill 80 I, people. Of course. You're going to have a bit yeah, of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just that, that idea of that's the only thing people could really jump on is the gambling. That what he had lost all his money? Yeah. But I don't even think there were records that he had. He had the million dollar house. I don't think he did. 
Yeah. Lived in a beautiful home. And the amount of guns he brought, it was oh my the whole gosh. thing was strange. It was He could have done it with one two guns. And could have he? Yeah. Unless he planned to be there for a while. Maybe he did was planning for a yeah. huge stand up. It didn't last very long. I don't think. So as long as fifteen it or seemed. twenty minutes or something? It was yeah. Was it? I can't even remember the different guns he had was like yeah he had an army yeah literally a literal army yeah and that's the crazy thing when you watch that video and there are a lot of yeah. coming and coming and coming with bag after bag after <laughs> it's bag so after deep. bag and it's like he came in with four more bags and even you just tried to think about what was going on like he does this drive I don't know where he lived in Reno or something I think it was like an hour away yeah, yeah an hour away just what those drives must have been like because he must have done like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <man. laughs> yeah, what's he listening is he listening to music or is he just kind of driving in silence yeah there was something so uh, I don't get all the guns that's the part that confuses me the most I really don't get it I get maybe thought one gun will jam yeah so he had the second one the... I guess it's the idea that you're wanting to do the biggest thing in history. I he had to it so it planned. Yeah. He had it so planned out. What was it? There were all these things. He had the he had dummy like the hotel yeah. and everything like that. He had the doors kind of set up in such a way. He had like blockades out the front of his room. There were a bunch of things that he did. Yeah. There to... are conspiracies on it. People say there were multiple shooters, blah, blah, blah. Really? People say it was like a, an attack from another country. I don't know much about and then his... he got like false flags as the shooter, blah blah blah. <laughs> there are all these conspiracies. Really? Yeah. There's a rabbit hole for the. There's a rabbit hole, surprisingly, <laughs> for the. It's thematic. <laughs> I wonder something that you couldn't have a rabbit hole about. Oh, actually, no. Could you have a rabbit hole about nine eleven? Jeff, no. <laughs> the towers was felt. <laughs> <laughs> but Jeffrey Dahmer. Do you think there's a rabbit hole for that? I they, I feel like. Not a rabbit hole, but I definitely don't believe him and what happened. Re- oh, okay. All. So that's, I guess, a rabbit hole in that situation. I think that's the whole sick part of the show is that it's his perspective. Yeah. Which is just horrific. But I guess... No one know, knows what happened. The idea would be, why would he lie about such a thing? Why wouldn't he? He ate 15 people. Yeah, but... Why I mean, would you trust him? But what else worse could have he done? He basically said, There's I did the so worst. much more he could have done. He did kind of everything. He could have just been like a Ku Klux Klan member and just oh, committed one of the most true horrific racially racial attacks motivated. in human history. If it was racially motivated, do you think And the whole been? time he was torturing them, he was just screaming like racial slur and just like taught like who knows what on earth happened. No one knows. Usually if that's the case though, you're gonna see And he it. wanted to protect the um, I don't know, white supremacy. He didn't want to come out as that. He just wanted to do it and to get away with it. Interesting. He, so he Maybe not, it. but yeah, I, don't yeah. know. I just don't believe in it shouldn't have been represented what he said happened. Right. Should have just been killed and moved on. I believe him. <laughs> I believe him. I personally believe him. I don't know about everyone else, but I do <laughs> I do believe him. I do believe him. Well, six so nine true. joke. Oh, this should, I'll have to go on. We're not yeah, we're not on we're not on we're not on this is this is YouTube. This is clean YouTube Sorry. here, folks. Sorry, we're not gonna <laughs> make those sorts of things. I think we drink jokes. some water. You think we drink some water? Or do you think we we take a break and a then break. come back? Not a break, but a break. We go into another. Oh right, right. You're yeah, the, and then come back the for our water. We can we can chop and chop and bring it back in. In all honesty, it's pretty easy to do. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll take a little bit of a break. Um, if you do want to listen to uh, long form conversations, we are on another platform. DM um, to find where that is. But yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. But not really. We're just going to clap and we're going to go into the water challenge right now. And we'll finish this episode with the water challenge. So anyway, on to the water challenge that's about to happen. We've been talking for an hour before getting to this, so we're going to be quite thirsty. 25 minutes. Oh, we're going to go. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Everyone, clap. we get into the water challenge. <laughs> 